Hey, this is Stacy from Solo City Diaries, and I wrote this post March 13th, 2005, and I figured at this point I have been celibate for four years, four months, and five days. I don't have an official title for this post yet, but let's just go with the five-year mark, which will be this year. How did I go from being non-sexual to sexual to a sexual being in a sexual body? As I approach the five-year mark, I am having all these random thoughts. Will the five-year mark be a starting point for a new relationship, maybe marriage? Will it be a breaking point and I fall into lust and have to start over? Or will my celibacy continue past November 9th, 2010, the last time I had sex? And I will still be not having sex for however long as it takes. Pastor Mike of my church recently began discussing how to have a meaning for life. And I think it was part four when he said there are things God does not want us engaging in, even pleasurable things, because they are sinful, such as sex outside of marriage. Um, a meaningful life might say, um, wait a minute, hold on, I missed the line. Okay, pleasurable things because they are sinful, such as sex outside of marriage. People who challenge God's limits struggle to have a meaningful life. Pastor Mike said that society promotes harmless and blameless sex without complications and implications. Yet God's purpose for sex has been distorted. And I personally have distorted God's view of sex. Um, I think the first time was when I started reading erotica about 2003, 2004, somewhere in there. I think the first book was Addicted by Zane. I love that book. <laughs> I was married at the time and I didn't really care for sex. I, mean, I, I just started having sex when I met the man and didn't really like it, didn't really care for it, but I had it. And the book showed me things that I was not experiencing, never had experiencing, and like the book's title, I was addicted. I continued to read erotica in books, you know, you go to the little stores and, you know, something it's romance with more sex. And I read erotica online. I have this one site, I don't remember the name, that I went and read certain stories. I had another little book that I kept with me hidden or in my purse at all times. Don't know the name of it. I had to um, throw it away years and years and years ago. Um, even though I didn't cheat until 2005, the seed had already been planted. I wanted more. I wanted what I wasn't getting. When I decided to move from being non-sexual to a sexual being, I still, like I said, I wanted more and more and more. Now it's been four years and some months and some days. I think about how stupid and dumb there's so many situations I put myself in. It definitely changed how I view me in relationships and sex. It's definitely a struggle as time goes by. You know, I was when I was having sex, I was lonely and alone. But I was having company a few times a week. Well, I was company. Nobody came to my house, thank goodness. I had more messages on dating sites. I had more phone calls. I had access to the bus line, so I was more mobile. I had one kid and he wasn't staying with me. I felt more free in a way. 
and now I feel somewhat trapped, you know, two kids, no social life, no one lining up to even ask out on a date, even for an acquaintance, a friend, companionship. Um, you mentioned solvency, I get less responses than when I was just mentioning herpes. I had a lot of responses just saying I have herpes because people were still interested. You say celibacy and you get why you celibate. Will you give up your celibacy for me? How will you please your man until he says marriage? Uh, how are you going to stop him from cheating? I can discuss having an STD all day long. You don't know I want to. <laughs> But it's harder to discuss why I go, went from having sex to not having sex and definitely explaining why I'm gone almost five years. You know, and the five year mark is approaching. So from non sexual to sexual to sexual in a set in a celibate body. Because I still think about it, I'm just not having it. Thank you and have a blessed day.